In this video, we're going to be using Wickham Soap Company 1912 Shamrock Tweed and the Moolah R41 Twist Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I remind you this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and the twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. All right, today we're going to be using, as mentioned before, this is Wickham 1912 Shamrock Tweed, which is uh, based on, or at least it smells to me like um, Creed Green Irish Tweed. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. Very nice scent on the sub, classic scent, and I like what Wickham does they put a little insert in there just a little additional measure to protect the soap and keep it fresh and as you can see i've scooped some out uh, this is a vegetal base and we'll put the ingredients for you right there i had no problem lathering it today it lathered easily i got this at the razor company for 21.99 for 4.9 ounces and on our cost chart there that is a fair price of 448 per ounce not a bad soap at all. Wickham has been around uh, a long time. This is an artisan out of the UK. I like the container. Really like everything about it. It's a very good quality soap in my opinion. Let's show you a shot of the lather right there that I made this morning. And as you can see there, no problem whatsoever with the lather. If you'd like to know how I made the lather, I'll pop up in one of the corners here my latest lather tutorial. I'll show you exactly how I do it. Soup to nuts. All right. The razor for today is the Mühle, or Mühle, it's always hard for me to say it, I'm not German, I barely speak English, <laughs> but anyway, this is the R41 twist, and it's called twist, because at the bottom here you twist it, and the top will come off, it is a two-piece razor, which I like, and today I'm going to be using a uh, Gillette Nasset blade, and I've got one dot on there, which indicates I have one use, on this razor. The R41 is known to be a fairly efficient razor, and it is. It's This version is not as efficient as the original, what was it, 2011 or 2012 version, but it's still an efficient razor. You can see it has that open, sort of semi-open comb uh, design. It is a nice razor, and generally, the twist version of this razor can be found between 50 and 60 bucks. I'll link it below. It's right around 60 bucks, I think, on Amazon right now i got the twist version because i just love two-piece razors and there's not a ton of them so i figured why not <laughs> all right let's get into the shave today i'm gonna start by misting and this is just a plain water no special elixir or anything like that today's brush is the ap shave co handcrafted series this is i believe a jade color or something like that and we have a good lather with our wickham it's smelling great and everything is set for a great shave, I hope. You guys are looking good today, by the way. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Nice lather here. No problem whatsoever lathering it. Um, I like Wickham. I really like Club Cola. It's my favorite Wickham scent. If you haven't tried that one, check it out. It is great. And I bought that one many years ago when it was still in it. They used to have a really... Um, it was not very tall from top to bottom, but they had a wide tub that was plastic that was uh, really awesome. But I don't know that they, I know they don't put soaps in those anymore. And I don't know where Wickham got them, but they were pretty awesome. I like those old tubs. I'll get that out someday and use it again so you folks can see it. But Wickham, it's been around for a while and it's good stuff. Another really nice soap out of the UK. I used Signature the other day, which was very nice indeed as well. And you've seen me use Lothar. Lots of good artisans in the UK. So in the UK, there's no excuse for you not having a good soap, even if you're not buying the American artisanal offerings. There's plenty of choices there for you. And this is another good one. Man, this smells great. I really like it. And as you can see, we're running down the brush a little bit, but that is okay. We've got plenty of hydration. Let's rinse that off just a little bit. And then we'll get down to business today, which is, of course, the shave. All right. Dry off our hands a little bit, or at least my shaving hand. That's the main one to worry about. And then we'll get started here with our Mulle R41. And you do get some uh, 
blade feel of this razor. It's pretty efficient still. It's not the smoothest razor, and I think that's really, um, I think that's really where it gets its reputation. It just isn't quite as smooth as you would like. I don't think it's on the extreme end of efficiency, but it's not a super smooth shaver for many people, and that's why they, you know, it's known as being so efficient. I just think it's a little, little bit on the rough side uh, sometimes, but some people really love it. It's their favorite razor, so, you know. Preference is always highly unique to the user and a very subjective thing, so keep that in mind. But for me, I like the razor, but I've never found it to be the smoothest of shavers. And I don't know if you can see down there in the bottom of the lather, the stubble. It definitely makes short work of any stubble. So it is efficient, but I think you'd probably have to work to find the blade that you really appreciate in it to get the, you know, most smooth shave um, out of it. Um, I'm not super finicky about, about blade pairing. Blade pairing meaning the, the choice of blade and razor. Some people are. Some people only use certain blades with certain razors. For me, I just use whatever blade I'm using with whatever razor I'm using. That's just me. I don't really do specific pairings. Uh, but the Nasset feels pretty good in this razor. Not bad at all. So I would say it's not a bad pairing. I like the Nasset blade overall. And I think I'll buy some more. I've been through quite a few and uh, I do like them. I think they're sharp enough and smooth enough and overall just a very uh, good blade. Let's get right here and disconnect the bald kit. That's what I call the stash and the little goatee there. The bald kit, because as you know, and I've said this many times on the channel, for bald guys at least like me, if I were to shave the stash and the the uh, the goatee, I would look just like this right here. And uh, it's bad enough as it is. You don't want to see me looking like that. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not saying you look like a thumb, but I do if I would shave this. You need some contrast or something to break up all that skin or you start looking like Uncle Fester real quick, or at least I do. So. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I hope you're all doing well today. By the way, what are you using today? Let me know below. And also, uh, have you used a Wickham soap before? And uh, the R41 Twist. I know a lot of people have used the standard R41, but what about the R41 Twist? Have you used it? I know Jeffrey Smith likes it. If you haven't checked out Jeffrey, go check out his channel. He's a great shaver, uses all sorts of variety of gear. Awesome guy. So pleasant to watch. And, oh, and also, by the way, I want to mention, CB Shaves is drawing close to a 1,000 subscribers, folks. So go on over. I'll link these channels below, folks. Always look in the uh, below the description. There's usually like show more or something like that. The links, to all, links to all the products will be there. And I tried to also link anybody I mentioned. So if you could help, you know, put CB shaves out of the UK over the top. That 1000 mark, that would be nice. We always try to help when we know someone's getting close to a, you know, that 1000 threshold. And so check out CB and uh, give him a sub if you please. Help him uh, reach that 1000 mark, which is, uh, it's often the, 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 you know, first goal for a lot of people, or actually some people set goals a lot lower even, but, uh, that's always a good feeling when you hit that thousand. I got to tell you, I've been doing this for a long time, as you know, and it took me a long time <laughs> to hit 1,000. Um, today, guys get to it rather quickly, year or so in some cases. Um, it, it really just depends on how much you promote your channel and how much interaction you have in the hobby, you know, and also your personality and style because, you know, you need to make a connection with your viewers and I'm fortunate enough to have a great connection with you people and I really appreciate you. And of course I, I work very diligently to bring you as much content and information as I can possibly get. So, you know, I, I'm high effort on the channel and I hope you appreciate that. 
But nowadays I see guys uh, hitting 1,000, you know, relatively quickly compared to what it used to be. Now I realize there are many folks who haven't, and that is no knock on you folks. Please keep plugging. And I always say the number one reason to do videos is if you enjoy making the videos. And I enjoy it. That's why I do it every day. If I didn't have genuine joy and love for making videos, I wouldn't do it. Um, so if you've had problems with the growth on your channel, understand that this is a still a rather, you know, niche or niche hobby and it is tough, but on the same token, I do see guys reaching milestones a lot quicker nowadays than they used to be. And that's good for us because that means we're growing. So thank you all. And if you're new, let me know below if you're relatively new as well. I always like to know who's new and welcome you. And so welcome. If you are new, we are very glad to have you. We always try to keep that growth mindset. And so, and so guys like CB can hit that 1000 mark quickly, you know. And so we've seen a lot of that in the last couple of years. And so congrats uh, to you folks. And hopefully CB will get over that hump pretty soon. John Shaves 101 is reaching, you know, I think he's in the 800s or something. So he's pushing it, getting, you know, close as well. So check these guys out and give them a little bit of love. I would appreciate that. And man, we got a lot of hydration in here today. It's running down the brush like crazy. <laughs> but that's okay. It is nice and slick, and that's what I'm looking for. Good quality, great scent, really enjoyable shave. I got to tell you, I'm just really enjoying it. And that, folks, is the reason to do this. Your enjoyment is paramount. So use the things that you enjoy, and uh, it gives you the maximum amount of enjoyment. And do not pay attention to what others say. Um, if they're cracking on you, cracking on your gear, cracking on the way you lather, don't worry about it. You enjoy yourself. You're the most important person in your shave. If you want to use tins, which I don't like, use it. Enjoy it. Doesn't matter what I think about tins. It matters what you think. So use those things that you enjoy. And that really is the key. We can all have our opinions and our preferences. And we're all right when it comes to those uh, preferences because you know we're all we're the only ones who know what we really like so you are certainly not wrong to really enjoy something that I don't or vice versa so just make sure you're enjoying yourself and especially those of you making content keep plugging keep enjoying yourself and then if it doesn't if it's not enjoyable and it feels like work don't do it don't do it I think a lot of us uh I've, I've mentioned this before in videos and like 2020 people would say, you know, I'm going to quit. I'm not getting growth. And we would all sort of rush over and go, no, don't quit. Don't go because we want people to keep doing it. But I realize in some ways that's counterproductive because they get that hit of love and then that dies off and then they're feeling down in the dumps again. So please folks just make your enjoyment paramount, whether you're making content whether you're taking shave of the days or just participating in the community, just enjoy the heck out of it. That's my advice. All right, the razor today, R41. Haven't talked much about it, but we've seen it so many times. There's not much more I can say about it that hasn't already been said. Efficient razor, but for me, like I said, I don't find it to be the smoothest. Um, I have other aggressive razors that are smoother, that are just, I think, because they're smoother, they feel better for me. Um, but this is a top choice for a lot of shavers. So but for me, I could use just a little rounding of the edges, you know, a little smoothing of those rough edges on this razor. But one thing is for sure, it does a great job always. And it is, even the newer version is plenty efficient enough. It's, it's, it's not what the 2011 or 2012, I wish I would, the 2011 or 2012 version, can't remember which was very, very aggressive. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of that razor, but stupidly I did. And then they stopped making it and now they're very hard to find. So I wish I had one, but I don't. Um, but this one, it still brings some uh, good efficiency. So this is no slouch. All right. That was a fun and excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our PAAM, no stinging or tinging, so that was an excellent shave. Now next, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to applying the magic made by witches. There's Witch Hazel, you know I don't forget that. That is great stuff. Cucumber is the one that I use. We had an excellent shave today with Wickham Soap Company 1912 Shamrock Tweed, which, which smells to me like uh, Green Irish Tweed by Creed. Really nice scent, good quality soap. If you haven't tried Wickham, give it a shot. It is out of the UK, it is good stuff. Love the container, really, really nice overall. We also use the Mule R41 twist which is an efficient razor for me still it's not the smoothest razor but i still like it it's it's efficient it brings it really really nice close shaver and again it's usually between 50 and 60 bucks on amazon the twist version keep in mind they have a three-piece version that is not twist so you can buy that one if you please it's always up to you or buy none of them <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to me but options are there that's the thing that's important to you we're going to close it out today with Razor Rock Irish Countryside. And as you can see, I'm getting close to the end of this one. Yet another aftershave will begin to work to finish up. And man, this stuff smells really nice. That green Irish tweed type scent. And boy, what a wonderful shave this was for me today. And I hope you have great shaves today wherever you are. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.